Okay, so for parallel practice number four, we have a battery that provides a voltage difference of 12 volts. So here's some information. And a resistor at one is six ohms, and the total current in the circuit is five amps. So we know that the total is five amps. We know that it's 12 volts, and that the total, or the resistor one has six ohms. So this is going to be six ohms. So let's go ahead and fill out what we do know. We do know that this is zero in our circuit, and then it comes out with 12, and they tell us our total is five amps, five amps, and we haven't gone through a resistor yet, so all these circles will be 12. Now, after it goes through the resistor, this is, we'll call this resistor one, we'll call this resistor two, and this gives us the total current. So then after it goes through the resistor, it has zero, and it comes to zero at this point. Now for resistor two, it goes through, through the resistor, there's zero, zero, and zero all the way through. All right, so first thing that we can figure out is once you have two out of the three, then you can figure for that space. So we have the total voltage is equal to the total current times the total resistance. And we know 12 volts is equal to 5A times the total resistance. When you divide by 5A on both sides, we'll get 12 volts divided by 5 amps is 2.4 ohms. And that is our total resistance. So we'll just write that. Then next, we can also find out what the voltage drop is. And we know it's going to be 12 volts because as it goes through the resistor, there is a, it takes out 12 volts. Um, so next, what we can find out is the value of the resistance for the current for resistor one. So for that, we can do, so we'll set it up. V1 is equal to I1 times R1, and we have the voltage drop of 12 for the first resistor, and we have a current of we don't know, but we do know that there is six ohms for the first resistor. And when we divide it by six on both sides, then we get the current it's going to be two amps. And we can fill that in, two amps. And now we know that the resistance, we can find out what the resistance, um, the current for R2 is going to be because we have the current for branch one plus the current of branch two is going to give us the total current. So we have two A plus some unknown number is going to give us 5a, and so we know two plus three is going to make five. So that's 5a, and then um, we know that 12 volts, so 12 volts is equal to 3a times some number, and that number is going to be 12 is equal to three times some number, and we're going to have four ohms. Now to draw our schematic, we're going to draw our battery and then we're going to draw our ammeter and it splits off into two branches at this point and we have resistor one with our ammeter here and resistor two with our ammeter over here and they come back together and then they go all the way around. Let me draw that a little bit better. They go all the way around into this ammeter at this point, and we're done. So now let's go ahead and fill in our numbers. So we have 5A here, 5A here. Resistor one gives us 2A. Resistor two gives us current of 3A, so 2A and 3a. Next we letter it with a, b at the positive terminal. I'll do um, 
C right here. Actually, that's false. I'm going to make the decision to do C right here. Then I'm going to put D up here, E at the end, and then F right about here and G over here. And then I will put D prime for this branch and E prime for this branch. So next I'm going to letter this all the way up to G and then back to A. So I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then back to A. And I'm going to label this by threes again. All right, so for the first set, it was zero, and then it shoots up to 12 for B, and then it stays at 12 for C, then it goes to D at 12. And then at E, it drops down to zero. Then at F, it's still at zero, G's at zero, and A's at zero. So now when I connect my dots, I'm kind of doing this in a rush. And then for the D prime, I will just D and then E, and then I can make like a dotted line, I guess, to show that that's where that's at. And that is it for practice number, or practice two parallel circuits. This is number four.